Welcome to Mr. Brown's Basement, a channel devoted to sharing the craft of repairing, restoring, and modifying vintage electronic gear and other random stuff. This is a Sony Walkman WM-FX50, which was one of many portable music players Sony made in the 1990s. It's got roughly the same form factor as some of the original 1980s Walkmans had. In this one, Sony managed to squeeze in more features, for example, an AM-FM radio and an auto-reverse tape player. A decent looking mechanism with two capstans so that the tape can be driven in both directions. And unlike the original Walkmans, this one is made entirely of plastic. Plastic controls, plastic body, and it's a soft plastic and not a very forgiving plastic. So if you were to drop this, that would be the end of it. It runs on a single one and a half volt battery, which is great, but being that it has a motor, it does tend to exhaust the battery quickly. Let's see what it does when I put a double A battery inside. and go into play. Let's see if it's got a bad belt. Okay, this is turning. And that's turning. So why is this on my workbench? Okay, direction. Well. That used the belt. Okay. And there's nothing in here. Nope. The back is pried off by unclipping these hooks that grip onto the other side of the case. It's challenging. It does not want to come off. Don't lose the switch that uh, comes through the case. Then a tiny screw right over there is all that holds the audio board in place. And now you can swing it up and see the mechanism underneath, which is this. You can see the path of the, of the belt. So it goes around the motor and it goes around this and around this and comes back to here. So it's a very large belt that seems to do everything. Oh yeah, there's another, another piece over here. So around this, around here, around there, around here, around there, and it comes back. Why don't I go for it? So it comes back on this side. Okay, that's a very big belt. Okay. Let's replace it. I've got the new belt on, which is much, much tighter than the old one. Yeah. 
and I'm going to use this opportunity to clean out some of the dirt in, um, in the mechanism and if I see anything that needs lubrication I'll do it. This is where I'm going to go through a lot of q-tips. Most of the dust is gone now but what surprises me is how fragile some of these gears are. For example, this one over here, if something jammed, it wouldn't take very much to snap it. Anyway, time to put it back together again. There are switches on the audio board which must engage with levers on the mechanism. There's play and you can see the plunger in there, power, and forward reverse. Make sure that this and this are outside before you put the case back together. They will want to fall in and that just makes life miserable. Since you'll be reassembling it in this orientation, these two switches here will find themselves down. So make sure that these two switches in here are in the down position as well, otherwise you'll have a problem. After you reassemble it, you should have no extra pieces. It looks like that it works. Yeah, it does. I hope you enjoyed this video from Mr. Brown's Basement. Please like and subscribe to be notified when new videos come out. Also, feel free to leave comments, which I'll do my best to respond to promptly. As always, thanks for watching.